You were prime minister during the 2000 Sydney Olympics. And how important a moment was this from a soft power initiative from Australia's point of view? Um, how key was this in sort of promoting brand Australia to the world and helping with tourism? Well, it was a, it was invaluable. Uh, it, it, it displayed Australia at her very best. And, and I remember attending an APEC meeting in um, like just two or three months after the Olympics and talking to the leaders of the other economies in APEC, the principal discussion was how well the Olympics had gone and how impressed they had all been with the way in which Australia handled it. Not only was it superbly organised in a, in a technical sense with the staging of events, but the volunteers, the open egalitarian character of the welcome that was extended to people, not only the athletes, but others that came from all around the world. It, it, it displayed Australia at her very best. We're very good at running international sporting events because we've got a sufficiently affluent population to buy the tickets to attend the events to make it an economic success. And the classless egalitarian nature of our society means that people are made from other countries are made very welcome away from the sporting arena. Very, very important. They feel safe as well. Now, nobody, could, no, nobody can feel totally safe, I suppose, anywhere, but compared with most other societies, it's a very safe country as well. So I thought <clears throat> the 2000 Olympics was, was a huge uh, demonstration of the strength of Australia.